nine days. Nine days out. WBFF Australian Championships and needless to say energy levels are low because calories are low. Certainly feeling the effects but uh, this, is, this is the time to make, uh, make things happen especially when you are feeling absolutely drained. Push day today, focusing on chest, may do a bit of deltoids and then finish off with some triceps. <laughs> in a severe calorie deficit at the moment, my calories are quite low. Um, irrespective of what my calorie intake is, I'm going to ensure that I train with the same level of intensity and preferably with the same weights that I was during my off season, even if I'm a week out. Um, I want to seek to maintain that training volume load uh, and you know, at the start of my workout I'm still going to try and do my heavy strength work uh, because the, the muscle that I've built up during my off season has been built off that foundation of doing that heavy strength work. Uh, as the session goes on and my energy levels start to dwindle, uh, that's where I'll start introducing uh, higher volume, uh, high rep work, uh, supersets, uh, tri-sets, three exercises done one after the other, um, all in preparation for nine days time. Weights that used to feel light now feel 10 times heavier. The form and technique shouldn't change, uh, the range of motion shouldn't change. Um, I'm still focusing on establishing that mind muscle connection, we're tracking the shoulder blades back, coming all the way down, stretching the pegs out, driving up and squeezing. Every single repetition, having a focus, having an intensity thinking about the end result in nine days time. Man! Come on! Focus. Snap out of Robert Pitcher. Probably not hitting the volume that I want to. I've done a lot of the lower rep stuff. First two exercises, dumbbell incline press and dumbbell flat chest press. Um, main focus for that was to hit anywhere between six to 10 reps, ideally on the lower end. Uh, go for a heavier weight. Try to seek to maintain the strength gains which I've had during my off season. Um, and now, lower the weight, increase the amount of reps, increase the volume start incorporating, rather than just doing a single set start, start incorporating supersets, tri-sets, potentially, today, even, giant sets. Exercises, say, four or five put together as part of a cumulative set. One last thing that's very important, doesn't matter how carb depleted you are, tired, exhausted, doesn't matter what your situation is. Whenever you step foot inside this gym, Always put your weights away. Consider others, not just yourself. reps there. During the off season I probably would stop one short of failure with most sets, especially if they're getting heavy. With this particular instance, 
anywhere when it comes to about three to four weeks out, start going for failure every single time. Just trying to get as much volume under your belt as possible. During the off season, probably not so much. There's probably more conscious focus on stopping one short failure and thinking about how you are progressing over time, week to week. But uh, with an imminent deadline approaching, failure can be your friend. Single set stuff, and don't want you to set stuff. Barbell bench press. Eight to 10, 10 to 12 reps, and then move straight on to dumbbell incline flies. 12 to 15 repetitions. Starting to feel the pinch, but now's the time to work. I'd rather fail doing a partial rep but maintain the same form, technique, and posture than to try and squirm it up and not actually hit the target muscle. I think that's what can happen in the last couple of reps. You're so desperate to get that last few reps up that you're willing to compromise form, start recruiting more of your shoulder than you would your pec. Uh, so that's something that I concentrate on in the last couple of reps. Even though I know I'm going to reach failure, I'm going to track the scapula back, still hit the peg when you drive and press up. Plate loaded chest press, superset of machine cable flies. I've done a lot of my free weight exercises now, I'm going to move on to a lot of machine based isolation work. Start off with this compound exercise, move on to cable flies. The reps are going to go up now. 10 to 12 reps here on my plate loaded chest press. Moving on to machine cable flies, anywhere between 12 to 15, say 15 to 20 reps. Really trying to grind it out. Really trying to reach failure by the end. No, I need to go lighter. <laughs> Later on in the session, focus starts to wane because you don't have carbohydrates in your system. You can't actually pronounce words properly. 
um, glycogen stores are depleted, because the focus wanes, it can be very easy to sort of take the foot off the pedal. But it's during these, these last few reps, the last few exercises, the accessory work, it's those minute details that will make all the difference in my base. That's a wrap. Done and dusted here at North Shore Gym. Nine days out from WBFF Australian Championships. Feeling depleted, but feeling focused and ready for the challenge ahead. See you all in nine days home.